Okay, let's talk on call schedules. This is ServiceNow Jakarta. So some of the key concepts are a roto where you can define on call shift hours, escalation settings such as escalation type, rosters, self explanatory, schedules. You can define your own custom schedule or select from a list of very commonly used schedules such as 24 7 and 5 to 9. You can configure holidays, time off for participants, escalations, for example, when a P1 incident comes in, and notifications to remind people that are on call of their obligations or if an important event occurs. They can be notified via email or by sending a voicemail or SMS with notify. Okay, let's create a new schedule for on-call scheduling module. Click Create New Schedule under On-Call Scheduling. What would you like the schedule's name to be? Facilities. Let's choose a group. Dispatchers. Alright. Yeah, we're going to use an existing schedule. 24-7 uh, is good. How many duty rotations are there on your schedule? Let's choose three. Let's add all of our team members. One reminder to be sent. How long to wait for sending the next reminder. And enable calendar subscriptions. All right. And now we see our new calendar with our primary, secondary, and tertiary automatically assigned members for that day. Let's configure this a little further. Click on Facilities, click on Actions, click on Edit Rota. Here we can change a few settings. You can change your background color, so if you have multiple schedules, it'll be easier to discern between the two. You can define a catch-all in case none of the members are available. And then you can define on-call reminders. Also, you can see the roster. All right, trigger rules. Trigger rules help define process around escalations. This is best described with some of the demo data. Let's go take a look at high priority for network. This is a trigger rule on the table incident. If our conditions are the following, then we trigger the workflow on call escalations by email. This is what that workflow looks like. Email notifications will follow the escalation chain. And for every time the timer ticks, if a fulfiller still has not been assigned, it will go up the chain again. All right. Let's go take a look at VIP callers. So if an incident comes in and the caller is VIP, then our action is to assign it to the on-call person. Let's say, for example, you need to assign a substitute for a specific day. Click on the shift for that day. Click on actions, manage rota, and then select the member that is to be covering him. Schedule. If you want to remove somebody from a roster, go to my group schedules, select your rota, select the roster they are in, and then Click on the I, select a date, and click update, and then remove the member from the roster. To add a member to a roster, or to add a user that was previously part of a roster, go to the roster, on the members li list, click edit. add them back or add a new one make sure that their return date their from date does not conflict with the previous to date 
This is only in the context of adding a user that was previously part of the roster. Otherwise, you don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to click into from because I already removed Alice. And I'm going to say she's coming back the day after.